Welcome back. According to a new study at Lynn Women's Health and Wellness Institute, artificial intelligence or AI is helping to catch breast cancer that a traditional mammogram does not detect. Here with us today is Dr. Kathy Schilling from the Institute at Baptist Health Boca Raton Regional Hospital. Dr. Schilling, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. So how is this AI technology revolutionizing the screening for breast cancer? Well, we've been fortunate here at the Women's Institute for the last three years to have the assistance of artificial intelligence in helping us to screen women with digital breast tomosynthesis or 3D mammography. When we went in 2014 from digital mammography to 3D mammography, we went from four images per exam to 280 images per exam. And so we became overwhelmed and realizing that about 90% of the cases are negative, you can really get mesmerized and get fatigued by looking at normal exams and you can lose focus. So we've used um, uh, AI to help us in uh, identifying small cancers. You know, that your iPhone can uh, recognize your face and we can teach computers to recognize the appearance of cancers on mammograms. And that's what it does. It helps us, us to refocus our attention to areas that potentially um, may be um, representing a malignancy on the mammogram. And um, Dr. Schilling, I was looking um, at some research that was being done. So I read that um, one in eight mam or one in eight cases of cancer are not detected in a traditional mammogram. So can you share with us just some of the most impressive statistics that you see that you saw that came out of this study? Well, our study uh, looked at um, we two years before are using uh, artificial intelligence as well as two years afterwards, and we looked at over a hundred thousand images or uh, patients. And we have nine dedicated breast radiologists at uh, the Women's Institute. All we do is read mammograms, so we thought we were really pretty good. But we looked at our cancer detection rate before and after AI, and we found that our, we increased our cancer detection by 23% when utilizing artificial intelligence. And this came without an increase in false positives. So we weren't recalling patients for additional testing or unnecessary biopsies. And yet we still gained in the number of breast cancers that we're able to find. And we, this was really quite uh, surprising since we thought we were pretty good being dedicated breast radiologists. So just imagine what it can do to someone who is a general radiologist reading mammography on the side. Dr. Schilling, I mean, 23%, that is a significant number. Um, so how do you think that this study will uh, change the approach in caring for patients? I think that um, we are going to be finding smaller and smaller cancers, and I have the, the hope that it's going to bring us to the next level of care for patients where we'll be offering them lesser surgery, um, less, fewer mastectomies, smaller lumpectomies, perhaps no chemotherapy, uh, less radiation, as we're finding these very, very early cancers that we're probably seeing one or two years before we would have found them without the use of artificial intelligence. And before we let you go, what is the next step for this study? So I'd like to take a look at that specifically, you know, to evaluate what are the size of the cancers that we're seeing now compared to what we were finding before? Um, how, did, how did they present and what, what is the pathology? Because there's certain pathologies that are more difficult to find. And I think AI is really helping us find these small, very difficult, but clinically important cancers. Dr. Schilling, thank you so much for joining us this morning and bringing us this critical information. If you would like more information on how artificial intelligence is being used to detect breast cancer, you can head to our website, wpbf.com. All right, let's check the weather now with Sandra.